Hello everyone, it's old Guardian here. Reno Jackson is coming back to the closet, so we have a reason to build Highlander decks again. If you don't have any duplicates, you can fully heal your hero. I tried a couple of those in the tier crafting live streams. I played with a Highlander quest priest that didn't go very well, to be honest. Then I had a little bit more success with this one, playing with a Highlander Paladin. Because between Reno Jackson and Lifeforge Carriel, you have quite a bit of defensive power there. And actually one of the funniest cards in this one was Ambassador Phelan, putting all of those colossal minions at the bottom of your deck. and that can sometimes give you quite nice value. I don't know how this should be built yet, building this deck. Of course, for the event, I had to use 10 new cards in this. There's going to be a bunch of experimentation on how to actually build a Reno Paladin, but I would imagine that it would be sort of a mid-range deck that just outvalues you in the end. And yeah, Reno Paladin with Ambassador Phelan is a little sample of this deck in action. All right, we can do this. Just buffing up that mothership. Wee. Side effects? No. What what kind of control mage is this? I have things you never knew you wanted. Draw might be good. Just hit face. Mm, this is totally fine. Let's discover a mech first. <laughs> Bonus Leviathan. Shoker, we can do more Leviathans. Play that peasant. Is this going to be a Reno mage, by the way? Is this like Reno versus Reno? This totally could be. Ah, random shooting star. The best kind of shooting star. The queen's trove is forbidden. We're going on a dangerous voyage. You win. Ambassador? This one goes there. <laughs> Leviathan and Dredge. So I can get to those Colossals. That's what we're going for here. Oh no. Endless Nagas. Well, that sucks. Is there anything I can discover with the Scorpid? No, I can't get through the taunt. So next turn they're going to play everything. Avenge is the best I can do. Now they're going to play everything they have. Boom, 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 boom. And that was surprising choice, though. But I guess they still have enough stuff. Maybe they don't. Maybe it is a Reno deck. Maybe it is. I'll actually go with the Mothership here. This one kills Azara. This one kills that. Still have the Leviathan in hand. And there's three Colossals at the bottom of the deck. They get a Colossal. This one has a Death Rattle. I have an Avenge up. I still have Leviathan up. Oh, that was pretty good. I don't have any way to touch that. Well, that sucks. I can't get through the taunt. Anything? 
Maybe it's acceptable. Maybe I can still do it. <laughs> Maybe I can still do it. Maybe it's fine. And so first I'm going to dredge. For more leviathans. Sure, why not? Then I'm going to draw that leviathan. Then I'm going to kill that one. And then this one's going to the dome. Sure, I lost some stuff here, but that was the Queen Azara. That has now been spent. That's got to be a Reno Mage, by the way. I just don't see any, any alternatives to that. What sort of board clears do they have? I know they have weapon removal. That's obviously a bit of a bummer. But Blizzard has not been spent. It's Flame Strike. Then you also need a one cost spell. Just make this one a little bigger. Okay. Next move, mage. Oh, they can discover another blizzard. They can also have the zero August freezing spell. That one doesn't really do much. Pow. Let's go. Reno Paladin. Victorious. Yeah, Blizzard is back in the corset. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.